I know it's quite noisy here, uh, but anyway, we will be reviewing in the Unminer A3, uh, uh, which is Blake QB, a mining algorithm, and we will see how to connect the mining pool, and uh, also we will measure the uh, power and the noise as usual, um, and also we will check out how much the probability has dropped since they released this miner, so stay tuned guys. Hey, hey, hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel again and thank you for tuning in for this uh, new video. Uh, as promised, we are re reviewing the Antminer A3 uh, from Bitmain, uh, which was uh, released there uh, quite a bit a long time ago. I think it was 16th of January when they announced. Of course, there was big drama around the uh, uh, Antminer A3 as usual uh, when Bit Bitmain comes out with something. Um, yeah, the, the, it's for the Blake 2B algorithm and I could only find the Sia coin, I couldn't find any other coins on this mining algorithm, algorithm. but yeah, um, the funny thing is when the, uh, uh, the Sia coin development, developers team wanted the nascent miner, uh, which would be produced by a company called Obelisk, but the funny thing was that they, are, <laughs> they accepted pre-orders which were 6 months away uh, before they released the miner. Uh, for the Sia coin, but Bitmain took advantage on this and released they, their uh, uh, their miners and flooded the market with the A3 miners, which was uh, very powerful. You know, at, at the release date, they were hashing uh, 820 gigahash per miner, which would get you uh, well, which would get you about 600 US dollars a day. And uh, if I'm, um, you know, I might be wrong. But they were priced at around uh, two and a half thousand US dollars, so plus the power supply and the shipping, so about two, two, seven, three thousand somewhere, yeah, uh, with all the all the all the custom duties and etc. Um, so so yeah, let's let's see how, what's it's all about and how profitable how the profitability is dropped now since the minor release date. Um, so yes, it's it's an ordinary looking uh, Bitmain ASIC miner which is specialized for one currency, for one mining algorithm. Um, it does have three hashing boards with 180 AC chips in total. Um, so it uh, needs a total uh, 10 PCI 6-pin connections. So there's a, a one for control board and then for three 3 uh, 6-pin connections for each uh, hashing board. Um, Miner boots up as normal uh, ASIC miner. It takes few minutes, probably, probably uh, about two three minutes till it, it's uh, booted up. see we are measuring the sound and it's quite noisy uh, it's you know as, a, as an airplane about uh, about 50 uh, 50 decibels noise it does hash this the, the usually the specification on Bitmain website is correct uh, it does hash about 820 gigahash hash and it uses about 1200 watts of power um, yes as you can see, the miner is very noisy, but you can do and follow the steps what I do uh, to reduce the noise. And you can keep it in, even in your living room and uh, watch the TV with the sound reducing earphones and you'll be happy, I guess. To set up this miner, uh, you can set it up as, uh, as, any, as, any, uh, as any other ASIC miner from Bitmain. Uh, in the, the when when it, when you log into the miner, you know you you when you turn on the miner, you just uh, uh, open the IP report uh, tool and then you uh, click start and then click the IP report button on the ASIC miner. It will pop up an IP address for this uh, machine on your uh, uh, desktop, and then just type in the uh, IP address IP address into in, into your uh, web browser. And that way you can log into the miner. It will ask for your password and for username. Uh, for 
all the Bitmain Miner default settings, it's uh, root and root password. Uh, so when you log into the miner, you just go to the miner configuration and you can configure from there, just insert your pool address, uh, where the pool you want to connect and also uh, the password of your, uh, or the worker name and the password if you have. Um, to uh, what pool to choose, you can choose that your own, probably choose the biggest, uh, I think it's F2 pool. Um, you can check that in Sia coin stats mining pools and you can see which one is the biggest and uh, which one gives the best reward. Uh, probably it's F2 pool, um, but that's your choice. You can choose whatever pool you want. Uh, further on into the um, miner configuration advanced settings, you can overclock this miner also. But be aware that uh, uh, Bitmain uh, is cancelling any warranty the miners is overclocked because you know it produces uh, it uh, uses much more power uh, which uh, makes the chips uh, burn very fast and also the power supplies and uh, everything is rec is uh, recorded into the miner log files um, yeah and uh, into the miner status page um, you can see the, the, the miner, you know, you can see it's it's hashing, it's connected to the mining pool and it's accepting your wallet shares. Also, you can see the miner uh, uh, chip temperatures and also you have uh, can see the, the fan speed. You can see the fans are spinning uh, quite fast. It's about 5000 RPM each fan. Let's talk about a little bit about the uh, mining profitability now. As I uh, told in the start that uh, it was uh, producing about 600 US dollars uh, in the first batches a day in 24 hours but now the profitability is dropped to about four and a half dollars that's about 100, 120 times drop in the profitability which is crazy <laughs> yeah but also uh, that should uh, you know that's in effect of the currency price, uh, price uh, drop as after release, it was released about on 16th of January. In that time, there's a big currency crash, Bitcoin crash, all the currencies crash, and also Seacoin. But Seacoin crashed very bad. It, it went down from 10 cents even to uh, uh, 1 cent. So that's about 90% drop, you know, which is <laughs> unreal, you know. Um, so the, the, anyone probably who bought at the start had a big failure. Maybe the first batches got sold sold out straight away the, the Sia coin, maybe you didn't sell out, sell the Sia coin, you know, you, some guys lost also money. Um, but yeah, the profitability has dropped a lot, uh, but the miner price now is priced at the 500 US dollars on Bit Bitmain website. And um, and yeah, the, the price has dropped five times on the miner. So yes, uh, that's, that's you can see now uh, how's the profitability, the, with the A3 miner and how it's being reduced. Maybe it will be more profitable in future if the currency goes up in the price, we'll see. Um, Seacoin seems a great project and uh, looks like a good future. Um, there's not, not financial advice, but you know, um, that's only my, my thoughts. Um, do whatever you want. I do myself uh, more, more prefer uh, graphics cards because uh, I like the idea that it's more decentralized, you know, any, anyone has accessible graphics cards and can build a mining rig, not like uh, one company take over the uh, network uh, hash rate uh, with the one, one very powerful miner, because you can mine the Sia coin before also and uh, with the graphics cards and it was uh, pretty profitable also. Even if I uh, do prefer graphics cards, I'm also looking into the ASICs, you know, uh, watching for a good moment to, to get a good ASIC machine. I, I'm running a couple ASICs in, in my uh, own mining farm, but I do prefer the GPU rigs. Um, anyway, if there's some profitable ASIC miner, why not, you know, that's why we're here to uh, make a profit on, on mining, you know, no matter which way. Um, uh, most of us want to make a profit on the mining, you know, some, some people just like to uh, support the network, but some some people likes to make uh, profits on the mining. I also look in, uh, into the options uh, as I showed in my previous video um, that I'm looking into the master nodes, and it's uh, also a good way um, to uh, uh, mine currencies virtually. So yeah, guys, uh, let me let me know in the comments section down below um, what you think 
about the Antminer A3. Uh, did you bought an Antminer A3 at the launch? Uh, did, you, did it pay off? And uh, how, how, is, how is the miner working? Uh, is it still working? Is it, uh, uh, what do you think, it's a good machine? Um, yeah, I do really appreciate your comments and thoughts. Um, thanks, thanks for watching and see you on the next video, guys. Bye.